Ready to take control of your Docker container updates? Today we're diving into how to set up the Docker Image Update Notifier, or DN, into your Docker Compose stack. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tentive in Tech and our server security series. In the last video, we secured our Docker setup with the Socket Proxy, a vital step to protect your host machine from compromised containers. If you missed that one, hit the card above or check the link in the description to catch up. I put together a GitHub repository with all the files you need for this tutorial, including the Docker Compose files we'll be working with today. You can find the link in the description below. Today, we're focusing on a critical tool for maintaining your Docker containers, the Docker Image Update Notifier, or DN. We'll cover why we should use DN, and setting up DN in our Docker Compose stack. By the end, you'll have a system in place to notify you when updates are available for your critical applications, giving you full control over when and how to update them. Why use DN? Automatic image updaters like Watchtower are great for non-critical applications, but they can be dangerous for critical security tools. Imagine an automatic update breaking your authentication or traffic monitoring. This could leave your server vulnerable until you notice the issue. That's why we want to take manual control of updates for critical security applications. With DN in place, you'll get notifications whenever an update is available for one of your critical security applications. This gives you full control over when and how to apply updates. For example, you can test updates in a staging environment before applying them to production. You can choose to delay updates if they're released in an inconvenient time, like during peak usage. And most importantly, you can ensure that your critical security tools are never taken offline unexpectedly due to breaking changes. Now that we understand the importance of manual updates, let's set up DN to monitor our critical applications. First, let's make sure our root Docker Compose file is set to include DN and define a network for it. You should have already copied this from the GitHub repo in the last video, so if you haven't, go ahead and do so now. Then we'll need to create a new folder for DN and place another Docker Compose file in it. Copy the contents from my GitHub repository into the file. This file will define the DN service and its configuration. This service is designed to monitor containers on the DN network for updates. It uses labels in your container definitions to determine which services it should monitor. Because it needs to see other containers, we've hooked it up to use our socket proxy instead of the direct Docker host. When an update is available, DN will send you a notification. This could be by email, Slack, or many other ways. In our case, we will be configuring it to send an email. The email server environment variables will be automatically pulled from our environment file. So make sure you have all these configurations set in there. If you don't know what to set for your email configurations, go and watch the Getting Started video in this series, where I walk through gathering all the configurations you will need for these tutorials. Notice that we're using Watchtower to auto-update DN. Since DN is only a notifier, it isn't super critical to our security and is thus a great candidate for automatic updates. We'll cover setting up Watchtower in more detail in the next video. If you'd like to save time and automate the setup of DN alongside other critical security features, I've included it in my Citadel security script. Citadel is a comprehensive server security setup script that automates everything from firewall configuration to Docker security hardening. And yes, it includes DN. Check out the link below if you want to streamline your server setup. What's your favorite self-hosted application? Drop a comment below and let me know how you are securing it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. In the next video, we'll be diving into how to set up Watchtower for automatic updates of non-critical applications, so stay tuned. And if you haven't yet seen our previous video on setting up the Docker Socket Proxy, check it out here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later.